Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number 10. Hey, this is a series where we see how to build fast calculating formulas for huge spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download this workbook, Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in this one, we want to see how to toggle between automatic calculate and manual. The reason that this is so important is because if you really have huge spreadsheets, and it takes minutes or more to, to calculate, then you might want to switch to manual. Do all of your data entry or your formula creation or whatever, and then switch to manual before you leave for the day. Here's what um, uh, manual and automatic means. We're just going to do a simple example here. Alt equals, and then I will add these three cells right here. Enter. Now I want to go over to uh, sheet number 11 here and write in this cell. I want to Alt equals and I want to go back over to the sheet 10 and highlight those same number ones and enter. See how it's three? See how it's three. Now let's go. Right now we're in automatic. So if I change this to two, that changes to four and this changes to four. Now let's turn it off and see what manual does. We go to formulas calculation, calculation options, manual. In 2003, you go to tools, menu, options, calculation tab, and then manual. Now, if we change this to one, it uh, doesn't change there, and it doesn't change over here. Now, we can use a keyboard shortcut to uh, uh, calculate when we want. F9. Now see it changed to three there and over here. So what F9 does is it recalculates all the things that have changed in the workbook since the last calculation. Now get this, that actually, if you read this white paper that I keep referring to here, this amazing article about how to speed up your spreadsheets, it describes all the different modes of calculating. F9 is smart calculation, so it just does the things that it needs to in the whole workbook, the things that have changed. If you want to do just this sheet, will you shift F9? Let's try it. I'm going to change this to 2. Now it's still 3 there, and it's still 3 over there, right? But now I'll use Shift F9. It recalculates just this sheet and not everything over here. There's also Control Alt F9, which does a full calculation of all the formulas in the workbook, no matter if they've changed or not. And then Shift Control Alt F9 forces complete rebuild of dependencies and full calculations. All right, that's automatic and manual. We'll see you next trick.